Harry runs out of money. Charles cut Harry off financially I don't have a child like you. Prince Charles may cut off his financial support for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle following their shocking announcement that they are stepping down as senior royals. The news reportedly blindsided the royal family, leaving Buckingham Palace scrambling to organize how Harry and Meghan will leave their positions in the coming days. The Duke and Duchess said in their statement on Wednesday that they would be seeking financial independence from the royal family as they pursue their own professional income. But Charles will not simply write the couple a blank check if the deals of their split aren't to his liking, the Times reports. It is understood Charles is adamant any funds agreement will be decided once their future roles are ironed out. Harry and Meghan announced they will be financially independent in their new lives, but still want money from Prince Charles Duchy of Cornwall estate. Prince Harry reportedly defied instructions from the Queen not to announce their plans, after she requested he hold off until he talked it over with his father. And Prince Charles told his son he needed more time after he was sent a draft proposal about his future role, particularly on the issue of funding. But it was revealed the Queen reportedly learned she had been ignored when the news broke on TV, and Charles and William only got a statement copy ten minutes before it went live. And even the Sussex's own aides were said to be stunned as they had been kept in the dark, and felt stabbed in the back as the new website was suddenly launched. Harry and Meghan will lose out on £2 million a year from the royal purse as they move away from the UK and shun the sovereign grant. This means they would be able to work and take money from endorsements, with speculation growing the Duchess could return to acting. But British taxpayers could still front the £600,000 security bill for the family despite their bombshell pledge tonight to be financially independent. They also get about another £2 million annually from Prince Charles Duchy of Lancaster Estate, which may not continue if Charles chooses to cut off his son. The Sussexes also hope to keep their Frogmore Cottage home, which was refurbished last year at a cost of £2.4 million to the taxpayer. A spokesperson for the couple said that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are delighted to visit with several charities close to their hearts in early September. Amid a series of charitable engagements in the UK they'll also make a flying visit to Germany, which will host the Invictus Games next year. The last time Duchess Meghan and Prince Harry visited the UK was for Queen Elizabeth II's Platinum Jubilee in June, an event that was notable for more than the monarch's 70 years on the throne. It also marked the couple's return to the UK in an official capacity for the first time since the drama of Sus exist in spring 2020. In the end, Prince Harry and Duchess Meghan's much-anticipated return was low-key in the extreme. We glimpsed Meghan looking radiant and playful in a window, the Sussexes swept up the Isle of St. Paul's Cathedral, turning every head in their wake, and an adorable picture of their daughter Lily was released to mark her first birthday, which they celebrated with family and friends at Frogmore Cottage. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are said to be planning to renew their vows on American soil, and this time they want to do it without any royal traditions. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex will celebrate their fourth wedding anniversary. They reportedly initially planned to hold a ceremony for the occasion, but the pandemic derailed their plans. Now, they want to pursue their plan and are said to be looking at holding a woke ceremony. A source told Heat magazine that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are already looking at various venues and figuring out the type of ceremony they want, as well as how many guests to invite. Thank you.